Hi, thanks for joining me today. Uh, whilst we're just doing a product video here, we also wanted to do a quick um, informative video based around answering the question of why is my stove spilling smoke? It's one of the most frustrating things for any stove owner when they purchase a stove, pay to have it all installed, get all excited, go and light the fire, and then when they open the door, get a big waft of smoke coming into the room. Often, the first thing to blame is the stove itself, um, because that's obviously what you can see here and that's what's producing the smoke but in pretty much every single case it's not the stove at fault it's the actual chimney because the chimney is what makes the stove work the chimney draws the smoke up and out um, but you find if you're getting smoke pouring back into the room it's generally because the chimney hasn't got the draw on it in many cases it's because the chimney itself is cold mainly to begin with and especially on a twin wall chimney system so if you've got not a brick chimney, uh, but have the stainless steel twin wall flue going out through a roof or a wall, um, it's very cold. It's not the same as a brick chimney. And if it's very short as well, the two combined um, are the perfect conditions for smoke to come back down through, through the stove. Effectively what happens is, is the cold air in the chimney is sinking down because obviously hot air rises, cold air sinks. So the air that's outside that's really cold in the chimney is just sitting down, it's just pretty much pushing down the chimney and forcing it down. So when you light a fire in here and you've got the smoke being produced from the fire, the negative pressure is greater than what the smoke is coming up. So it's just forcing it back down out into the room. So it's not the stove that's full, but in cases where you've got eco-design stoves and stoves which have, especially have twin baffles, they're designed to pretty much keep as much heat in the fire as possible because more heat in the chamber creates a cleaner burn. However, that can restrict the draw um, and do require a chimney to have a good solid draw on them. So the best thing to do is to, firstly to alleviate that is to get as much heat in the chimney as possible. And the best way of doing it is when you light the stove is ensure you've got nice dry fuel and even sort of laying sort of a layer of sort of um, newspaper above the top. So when you light it with the newspaper on top laid flat, you're getting a sudden burst of heat into the fire, which then rushes up the chimney and gets it hot as quickly as possible. That is really is sort of the aim, is to get as much heat up the chimney as quickly as possible to reverse that negative pressure. I myself have in a previous property had a stove, which had a twin wall chimney system and the same problem and you go down on sort of a cold, foggy day when you want to use the stove the most and you just know that if you don't use the correct technique, the smoke's just going to come back down until all of a sudden you'll pretty much hear, hear it in the fluid go tick sometimes and then that's the pressure re um, reversed and then the chimney will work fine. But you've got to get to that point as quickly as possible and the main thing is, is getting heat up the chimney. Um, as I said, you can use a little layer of um, newspaper above it, little balls of scrunched up paper, anything to get as much heat into the chimney as possible. The more drastic approach, if that isn't working, is even the case of getting a small little blowtorch. It sounds drastic, but sometimes there's nothing else that can be done. And holding up inside the stove, um, up just where the baffle is. So holding up there, getting as much heat up that first initial stage of the chimney as possible um, to give it the best chance of, of doing that. And then when you get it going, it'll be burned nice and, nice and hot, nice and quickly, and then you'll find that the smoke then doesn't come back into the room as soon as the chimney is warmed up as quickly as possible. If that still isn't working and you're still having problems, then you're gonna have to look at the chimney itself to see if there's any adjustments that can be made. Can it be made taller um, or add a different cow to it? But before you go spending money on making changes to the chimney, um, you are best off trying to get as much heat in there as quickly as possible because um, in also in some cases you can't add to the chimney because it's already at the maximum height um, allowed for it. I hope this helps answer um, a few questions there um, but as always if you need anything or have any problems just let us know. Thank you.